Yo, what's good YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And look at the disrespect for the champs. I mean, 88 overall, 93 offense, 85 defense. Did they just forget that we just won the national championship? They put us at 34 to start the season. I mean, this is straight up robbery. I mean, look who's ahead of us. They have Boise State ahead of us the season they had last year. I mean, look at all these teams ahead of us. We beat Texas, and they're still ranked ahead of us. I mean, we are furious going into the season. Bama is ranked one. We want their head. Man, I mean, they just straight up disrespected us. I mean, this is just, this is horrible. I mean, look at our division here. So they're expecting us to finish fifth in our division. They're expecting Georgia to win the division, Florida to be second. I mean, this is just straight robbery. I mean, they're probably expecting us to have just a big shock moving to the SEC. But, I mean, we're up for the challenge, and I feel like this is just straight up disrespectful. But in the Heisman watch, they did recognize this, man. Alex Brown's returning for his senior season. And his stats each year have just gone up. And he just had an unbelievable season last year. Probably one of the best in NCAA history as it is. And, I mean, I just can't believe they just disrespected us. Disrespected us in the rank. I mean, 35. I mean, how low can you get? So, looking at the preseason All-Americans, we did have Alex Brown as a preseason halfback All-American. Todd Williams, no doubt, number one defensive end in the nation right now he's gonna slide in as a preseason all-american ron sand's gonna be a left outside linebacker as a preseason all-american red johnson leading the way jetter as well in the secondary no surprise there and then vince cohen on the back end and look they finally have adam davis as a preseason first team and they've been disrespecting him the whole college career that he's had pretty much not being there so josh dunbar actually gets second team uh all ncaa honors so this is just a preseason ranking and i mean we're gonna be looking to have every position pretty much uh on the pre on the all american list so let's look at where we're at as far as toughest places to play so we're the number 17 toughest place to play so we do have an average attendance of 50,000 pretty much a sold out crowd we're 17 and 5 at home so far in this dynasty and look who's number one Alabama they got to travel to us so uh let's just see who we're going up against in week one let's see the matchup so we are going on the road to play Iowa State in our opener. They are ranked 23 in the nation right now after the first week. So now look at Kirk Herbstreit. He's picking the national champs. At least he knows better because if we look at, you know, Iowa State's schedule, they don't play any ranked teams. I mean, that is just insane. None of the teams they play are ranked right now. So uh, look at our schedule. I mean, we play pretty much every ranked team. The only ranked, unranked teams are Auburn, Kentucky, South Carolina, and Vandy. So if we look at who they have returning as starters, you saw Sullivan for a second there. Let's go to their roster really quick. We know they had a string of games where they won last year and they kind of fell off towards the end of last season so looking at sullivan here he's a junior here he's 71 overall and you remember jonathan sullivan this is actually the guy that we wanted to recruit our first season so he is actually a guy that transferred from our school remember that he transferred and now he's the starter so he finally gets his opportunity to play against his former team so a lot of storylines going into this game and he only has six completions in his career so he is going up against his former team probably in his first start so this is going to be quite the game for him what a way to start off his college career as a starter and he could have been our quarterback he probably would have started our quarterback remember we even nicknamed him sully so this is gonna be quite the game going up against iowa state so no more talk let's get into it let's go so Iowa State is ranked 23 in the nation. So this is going to be a tough matchup going up against our former top recruit. 
and right away here he is getting going and this is exactly why I recruited him getting the ball there on time and accurate is definitely something that you know we were looking for early in the this dynasty and Jonathan Sullivan just has it I mean I, I could just tell when I was going to practice he just had it he just had what you know it needs I mean he just has what you need to succeed as a quarterback so I expect regardless of this outcome of this game I expect Sullivan to have a huge year for Iowa State as he finds Gutierrez in the back of the end zone for the touchdown on the first drive so right away Iowa State isn't playing games they're getting into the end zone on the first drive but here is Alex Brown the reigning Heisman Trophy winner back out on offense and here's Albert Vick on the first play airing it out but missing Jamel Cooley pretty open on that one just a slight overthrow just need to work out some kinks probably but here is Albert Vick rolling out but he's gonna cough up the ball and Marquette is going to turn over the ball here early in the first quarter so that's gonna spell disaster for the Marquette Golden Eagles but Sullivan he's not much of a runner but this time he gets swallowed up by the All-American Todd Williams so on a second and 13 running a triple option pitching it outside to Pruitt this time so facing a third and two another triple option and this one is going to be a nice gain this time by Pruitt almost 20 yards getting tackled by Dylan Mack inside the 10 so on a second and goal this time Giving it to his running back is Sullivan, and he is going to get in for the touchdown. Billy Bailey makes it a 14-0 game, and another newcomer who's going to get some regular playing time. We redshirt him. Amonra Watkins is going to be our kick returner, and he gets a nice 52-yard return to start out the next drive, so keep an eye out for Amonra Watkins. And here's Alex Brown back out on offense, getting the handoff up the middle for the first down so facing a second and 13 second and six sorry Albert Vick's gonna roll out right and pick up the first down using his mobility on that one so here's Alex Brown getting another carry and you can just tell he's starting to warm up he's close to breaking one so now inside the 25 yard inside the red zone Ben Miller nobody guards him so he gets a nice 12 yard carry and Alex Brown finishes off the drive nice hold I mean he goes in untouched makes it a seven point game here so now Iowa State takes over Sully has been hot up to this point making good throws but this time he tries the throat with his back turned to Josh Dunbar and that's going to be incomplete so facing a third and eight trying to throw short but Red Johnson's going to be there for Gutierrez on the tackle and that's going to be a punt early on for Iowa State and Marquette's going to take over back deep in our own territory but on a first and 10 here is the man of the hour Kevin Oliver a highest rated guy on offense getting getting the reception that time so now Ben Miller gets open across the middle and Albert Vick with a gorgeous throw after getting hit on that getting hit on that one and on the next play Alex Brown gets the handoff and fumbles it so two early turnovers but take another look his knee is down and that is going to be overturned so Marquette does luck out on the fumble that time but facing a third and two now a couple of plays later out uh, Alex Brown's gonna get an open lane and get in for the touchdown Alex Brown pretty much untouched a wide open hole but he gets hit right before crossing the goal line but he does get in so now it's a 14 14 game and Sullivan trying to get his offense going finding Joseph Hall on the slant route beating John Waters on that one but facing a second and five this time having a clean gotcha, pocket bitch. for a little bit but Ron Sands beats the right tackle gets in for the sack so now facing a third and 13 Sullivan is going to drop back with a clean pocket throw across the field but that one's going to be stopped short of the first down so now we're going to force another punt so they had a 14 point lead now we have a chance to take the lead on this one and four minutes left in the second quarter Jamel Cooley getting the uh, catch on the outside that time but now Ben Miller getting involved getting involved often he has 50 yards receiving up to this point already so here's Alex Brown on a screen pass 
And did you see that block by Buck Kilgore straight laying that man out? And Damn! that is what he does best. He just lays people out. And he's going into his sophomore season, and he is just, I mean, a gem for us. I mean, he just clears the way like no other. So now close to two minutes left in this half. Albert Vick's going to get hit on the throw, but Jack Kleck is going to get his first reception as a Golden Eagle, and that's a perfect catch that time by Kleck. And he's a sneaky guy. He's a run blocker, but he can get open, and that time they leave him open, and that sets up an Alex Brown touchdown to end this drive. And Marquette, 21 straight unanswered points, and... Iowa State still has some time left. They have three timeouts, so 20, about 30 seconds left in the half, and Jetter has his back turn on that one. Sully finds Johnson on the reception that time, so now they're close to the 50-yard line, and Sully with another throw. I'm telling you, his throws are just on the money, and this was the guy that was going to have the keys. He could have been our quarterback at this point. But he decided to transfer, and that opened the door for Albert Vick. But he's showing that he's doing some things now in his junior season with the Iowa State uh, offense. And here he's finding Joseph Hall, but not getting in for the touchdown. So with two seconds left, they don't take any chances. Kick the field goal, and it's only a four-point game going into halftime. So here's Alex Brown getting the carry to start the second half, getting up inside the 50 yard line so now uh albert vick drops back on a third and 13 and guess who's open ben miller gets an open lane and maneuvers his way into the end zone and can anybody guard this man i mean he is at 100 yards already in this game and that is gonna be another touchdown for ben gotcha, miller bitch. so here we go back out on defense jonathan sullivan trying to get it to his screen to his running back on a screen pass, but that time gets sacked. So now facing a third and long, and so he's going to have a clean pocket. Look at the clean pocket he has, but look at his receiver with the double move on that one. Juke gets open and jukes Jetter on that one, and Jetter's giving up a couple of big plays on this one. We know he's an All-American, but sometimes he does give up these big plays. So now Iowa State is set up inside the red zone, giving it to Bailey, breaking the tackle and almost falling into the end zone that time, but on a second and one, giving it to him one more time, and Billy Bailey gets in for the touchdown, and that is gonna be back to a four-point game here in the third quarter, but Amonra Watkins, remember, I told you guys to look out for this guy, but look at the blocking on this return, and Amonra Watkins is going to have an open lane, and he's going to get tripped up, but not before he sets us up with some great field position on that return. So now, with the great field position, we're just going to run the ball, hand the ball off to Alex Brown, the eight-yard carry that time. So now about three minutes left in this third quarter. Ben Miller's across the middle with the catch that time. So now we're inside the 10-yard line. Second and three, and Kevin Oliver pretty much wide open over the middle for the touchdown. And, I mean, these drives are just easy, especially with the Monroe Watkins setting us up with these short drives. I mean, this Iowa State defense cannot stop our offense. So now back on our offense is Iowa State facing a third and long but red johnson gets in for another tackle that time to stop another third down conversion so here's a monra watkins and he's playing his first action here as a golden eagle he's impressing at the punt return and kick return positions i like what i'm seeing from him he's setting us up with good field position here so now albert vick leads this offense back out on the field and here he is scrambling for another first down and he's He's doing pretty well. He's not taking any sacks in this game, really. He's showing what he can do with his arms and his legs, and he's showing that he's a leader on this team. So here he is once again, finding Jack Kleck almost into the end zone, and Jack Kleck with two receptions, two big ones, and he's creating space early in his career. And Alex Brown getting in for the touchdown, another touchdown for Alex Brown, chalk it up, and contribute that to Bruh. the great 
great leadership by Albert Vick, just leading these drives down the field and just making it easy for Alex Brown. And he might have an even bigger year because our passing game is on point. But John Waters back out on defense gets a couple of blocks off of the one-handed interception. That is just unreal. And he dives into the end zone for the touchdown. Take another look at this play. I mean, one-handed just snatches it out of the air. And John Waters continues. This secondary continues to have so many turnovers against opposing offenses and look at Red Johnson he says he wants to get in on it but he doesn't have the hands of John Waters on that one so now facing a fourth and five here in the fourth quarter Sully is gonna roll out right and he's gonna pick up the first down so now they have to go for it on every fourth down pretty much they're down by three scores and here is Sully finding his tight end Gutierrez close to about the 20 yard line so now four minutes left in this fourth quarter facing a third and 12 so he's gonna have a clean pocket where is the pass rush because he finds Patterson for the touchdown and they're gonna have to kick an onside kick because they're down by too many scores so down 18 to kick it but Jackson Lundahl is there for the recovery and that's going to set up another drive for us. So here's Alex Brown trying to waste some clock here and making a man look silly on that one. Getting up close to the 25-yard line. So Alex Brown on back-to-back -back plays. Here he is getting the counter, getting some running lane, and you know he's got that breakaway speed. Nobody's catching him on that one. And that is going to be five touchdowns for him in the opener and he is going to lead this team to an opening week victory versus Iowa State. Remember, we didn't get to play them last year. I wanted to play them this year, and we come away with a victory. Alex Brown goes over 100. Ben Miller goes over 100. And Jack Kleck, he actually shows up, and he has some pretty two clutch plays there. They're both on third downs. But look at Buck Kilgore with the two pancakes. I mean, just delivering the hammer. And here's our defense. I mean, we gave up a lot of points. And we've had some little bit of holes to fill in the offseason. We have uh, Harris back there as well. And we have Nunez. And Nunez didn't make too much noise, but I expect him to get better as the season goes on. But we did play our former quarterback. And we showed the nation that you got you guys can't disrespect the champs. So hit subscribe hit that like button because this is going to be a tough season this is only week one we're just getting started and you can see how the sliders have definitely made this harder so let's get into this season man let's get it cracking let's go